Okay, this is the Power Diagram Module, page two, question two. Um, what they're asking you to do is drag the power stroke to the correct position within the diagram. So this shows our four cylinders, okay? And this is our crankshaft rotation. So half a crankshaft revolution is 180. The full revolution is 360. Then we go to two full revolutions. So we know the power stroke happens once in these four strokes. So this represents the four strokes right here. One, two, three, four. So this will happen once in cylinder one's four strokes. I have to figure out where this happens in each cylinder. So if I drag my little bar here, I can see that cylinder one, that's, see the explosion? That's my power stroke, okay? So I know that in cylinder one, power stroke is right now. See the pink, the pink line is, follow that pink line. So power stroke is happening. I drag it, that's where it's happening. I continue to go, and then I'm into the next stroke. You can see I'm going into this part now. I've moved half, half of a revolution. Now my next half, another cylinder should be in the power stroke, and there it is. So cylinder one, two, three, cylinder three is on the power stroke right now. So I drag my power stroke down to cylinder three right there. And if I move on to the next one, I should see power stroke again happening in this area. The next, so this is full rent, pretty much now at, there's right there where the pink line is, we are at one full revolution of the crankshaft. So now we're going to see another power stroke on either cylinder two or four, because these two already have their power stroke. So I keep going there. Cylinder four is on its power stroke. So I drag that to cylinder four. And then I continue on. And then I see the next one having its power stroke. So there it is, cylinder two. And it's happening right here. So I place it in number two. And then I check my answer, and I should be correct. That's how you do it.